Morning, hello and welcome to our new YouTube channel at Beeponock Farm. So I thought I'd just explain a little bit about my inspiration for creating this channel and my, my why. Um, fundamentally, I suppose I want people to believe in themselves and see what's possible if you hold on to your dreams. So I wanted to live on a farm when I was a little girl, I'd have probably been less than five years old when I decided I wanted to live on a farm. And I was um, well into my thirties when I, I finally achieved that. And we don't own this farm, we rent it. Uh, and so it didn't kind of like fit the box as to how I imagined it would be, but it is everything and so much more when I look back to my initial dreams from my childhood. So I was born on Jersey Island and I moved back to England when I was nearly three with my parents to Barnard Castle in County Durham. And I guess I was inspired by a lot of my friends who lived on farms and small holdings and would have pony parties. And there was a couple who were a dairy and a chicken farm. And I used to love going and visiting them, but we lived in a, a terraced house in the middle of town and couldn't be more far removed from their experiences of growing up. And then um, we moved south. So we moved to Nottinghamshire, uh, which is where I still am. <laughs> Didn't get any further than that and then I spent um, some time li living rurally in a rural environment through my dad's work but not really associated with farming and then um, again I lived a, a very sort of um, towny life for a long period of time and then still in suburbs and you know living in sort of semi-detached or detached houses on, on housing estates and I didn't question it there was nothing wrong with it but I knew it wasn't quite where my dreams lay and I'd always had horses and I moved my horse to uh, livery on a farm and they were pigs and cows and chickens and I guess I kind of got back to my inspiration and my dreams and, and what I wanted and um, when Joe and I started seeing each other, which was some time ago now, he isn't from an immediate farming background, but his grandfather farmed and Joe's an agricultural engineer. So in some of our videos, we'll be showing things about tractors and farming machinery, and hopefully there'll be some how-tos and some tips as well, and some vintage tractoring going on too. But we we both just wanted this. We both wanted a, a more rural living. So in what can only be described as a bout of insanity, we signed up for a lease on a small holding, which is quite a large farmhouse and a selection of outbuildings, which we use as his workshop and as stables for the horses and then we put up a shed for lambing for sheep and we got some pedigree rylands we started with just four i think we've now got 40 if we include all of this year's lambs and it's just grown from there we've got more acreage i think we've got just over 15 acres now across two sites most of it is here at the house fortunately um so we've got we've got these sheep we've got two horses i think there's 16 chickens uh, there's a dog, there's a cat, and we just really enjoy everything that kind of curls around being self-sufficient, growing our own produce, eating our own meat, and breeding a, a high standard and a high quality of, of pedigree animal that we sell on to other breeders. So we wanted to be able to do some video clips and share the journey with, with everybody else. So I look forward to uploading things. It will usually be about animals, about farming and about how we maintain this place and I hope you all enjoy.